Welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial guys in which we will be designing this ball bearing in SOLIDWORKS. We will be creating the inner race, the outer race and the ball and then we will be assembling it in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. Click on part and click OK. As first we are working in the part file. From here change the background to plain white for better visualization. Make sure that you are working in MMGS that are millimeters. These are basically units. Now click on front plane and click on sketch. And for reference, I'm selecting this center line. This will be used for the revolve ball space as axis. So make here a straight horizontal center line. And after that, select a line. And from this point in space to this point, make a line and create a rectangular sketch like this. And after that, select smart dimensioning tool. And here specify the length of this line as 15 millimeter. And then select this line and this center line drag down this dimension like this and here specify the distance as 46 millimeter similarly from the upper line to this center line and then drag down the dimension like this and here specify the distance as 52 millimeter now let me align these dimensions okay now select a circle and make a circle here now select smart dimensioning tool and here specify the diameter first which is 10 millimeter and then select this dot or point here and make a point at this quadrant of the circle now select smart dimensioning tool from this point to this line here specify the distance as 1.75 millimeter and then press escape button and here find this point hold control key from your keyboard select this point and make relation vertical now these are aligned now select trim entities and trim this lower arc and select this line as well okay now this sketch is ready Go to features and select this revolve boss base and here we need to select this center line as uh, axis of revolution let me show you again and check this box from here now the outer uh, race is ready let me assign some uh, appearance here in metals in chrome i'm specifying this one this is by the way an optional step for better visualization now save this part I'm saving this part as outer race so here write outer race and save this part press enter button and now it's time to make the inner race so click on file click on new select part and then click OK a new window will get open like this and from here change the background to plain white and make sure that you are working in millimeters select your front plane and click on sketch and here select the center line and make an horizontal straight center line like this mostly this sketch is similar to the previous one now select the line and i'm making this rectangular sketch just i uh, just like i have done previously and here's select smart dimensioning tool the length of this line is 15 millimeter there will be a smaller difference in between this sketch and the previous sketch of the outer race and I will tell you the, here is the first uh, difference between uh, the outer race and inner race in dimensions select here circle and create here a circle select here dot and make a dot at this quadrant now select smart dimensioning tool from this point to this line here specify the distance as 1.75 and if you have observed this time we are making the sketch on upper side rather than lower side specify the diameter for this circle as 10 millimeters press escape button hold control key and select these two points make relation vertical to vertically align this now I am trimming 
the extra upper portion and this line now this is uh, sketch is ready now select here uh, go to features and select revolve boss base and i am going to revolve this sketch about this reference center line which is acting as axis now our inner race is ready and for better visualization i am assigning this appearance now save this part as inner race so here type inner race you can type any other name you like it this is optional cross this window from here go select your file click on new select part and click ok this time we are going to model a ball for ball bearing so select your front plane and click on sketch and select here a circle and we are going to create a circle at this origin like this the diameter for this circle is 10 millimeter so here specify the diameter as 10 press enter button and then select your center line and from this quadrant of the circle to this quadrant which is yellow dot make a horizontal straight line now select trim entities and select this lower area now go to features and select revolve ball space and here select yes click on it and here we need to specify the axis of revolution which is this horizontal center line and check this box and now i am going to assign some different appearance for this ball of the ball bearing so i am assigning this one and now we have all the parts ready so let me save this part as ball and click enter button now cross this window after saving and now this time we are going to be working in assembly file so select assembly from here and click ok cross this cross this window from here and this as well click on insert components and first select the outer race and click o open place it here let me change the background to plain white for better visualization and right click here although we can float it but this should be fixed at least one part of the assembly should be fixed so this outer race should be fixed let me insert the inner race and if i click right click here and you can see here fix do not click on fix this is uh, by the way float and this is moving which is fine insert the ball and let's now assemble them click on mate and select this surface of the inner race and select this surface of the outer race and check this box now select this face of the inner race and this face of the outer race and check this box from here okay now select mate select this ball surface and this surface of the inner race and check this box now they are assembled and let me show you how it's gonna move and now we need to insert more balls so i am selecting here circular pattern in this direction one window we need to select any circular edge so i am selecting this circular edge and make sure that you have selected these uh, equal distances and in components to pattern select this ball and here you, you can increase it up to 10 or any number you like if i uncheck this equal distances it's not gonna work properly so make sure that you have checked the equal distances and this gonna move like this so that's how we model outer race inner race and the ball in solidworks and we can very easily assemble these components in solidworks assembly file so if you find this video helpful guys then please hit please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching